Good morning. What am I eating, you ask me? Hmm, chocolate. Wanna know why? Because today's video, I'm afraid it's gonna be a tough one. I'm afraid that I need chocolate to get me through the pain that this video is about to cause me. Well, we are on episode four of my closet clean out series and today I decided to do shorts. Shorts are probably my least favorite article of clothing of all time, which is why my pile of shorts is so small. You wanna see the pile of pants that I have? Whew, big difference. So I eat chocolate to erase to avoid all of the pain that this video is about to cause me. The heartache that this video is about to cause me. Well, let's rip the bandaid off and get right into it. Do I got chocolate in my teeth? Okay, all jokes aside, we are on episode four of my classic clean out series. I have so much crap. I have so many articles of clothing. I have way too much stuff. I am being overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that my small apartment has decided to collect. Yes, that's correct. My apartment has collected it, not me, my apartment. My closet clean out series is essentially to alleviate all of the stuff that I have. Got too much of it and I need to get rid of a lot of it. You know, I really wish that I could like be a minimalist and just have like four t-shirts, maybe like four or five pants, no shorts, and um, maybe like a couple pairs of shoes and a jacket maybe. I wish I could look like that, but I'm not built that way. Fashion is my passion, which is why I have so much stuff. So help me today go through all of these shorts. For those of you returning, thank you so much for coming on back as always. And for those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you. I'm Meredith. I'm a mid-size and curvy content creator. I'm a size eight, sometimes also a 10. And I create lots of try on hauls because dressing this body of mine is tricky. I had no body representation growing up. And so growing up and not seeing my body anywhere really affected me and my self-confidence. And so I realized that there was a huge void in our community. And you know, there's a lot of women out there who have a body that is shaped like me, who also want to feel seen and feel heard. And so that's why I create the content that I create essentially to find brands that are curvy girl approved to help us style and dress our curves to make life a little easier. So without further ado, let's hop into episode number four of my closet clean out series. The dreaded shorts. Finding shorts is awfully tricky for this body of mine. I'm talking about comfort. I'm talking about do they fit the waist and also the booty and the thighs and are they long enough to prevent the thigh chafe? Usually the answer is no, I don't find any shorts that do all of those things. There are a few pairs of shorts in here that might do one or two of the things, but certainly not all of them. Case in point, case in point. And because this pile is so small, let's go ahead and get the other shorts out of my dresser that I usually wear around the house because you'll see why. All right, let's start with these vintage denim shorts. I will say that I don't love them, but these are the length that I love, but just not for walking around it. You know what I'm saying? You walk and these legs, just chafe, 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 chafe. They ride up my leg. They are so uncomfortable. They are also massive in the waistband. They are also very short. The booty is right here. But I'm a crazy person and I'm gonna keep them. Don't ask me why, because I'm probably never gonna wear them. But I feel like I just need to keep them because I like the length and I like the style of them. Make that make sense. I have no idea. Okay, the next pair of shorts. I don't even think that I'm going to try on because I can tell from the look of it, they're deteriorating. Holy cow. I think you guys, we have our first pair of shorts that are going straight into the trash can. You know what? Just for and giggles, oh, I can't say that on YouTube. We're gonna just try them on because I haven't put these, oh my God, they are crumbling all over the floor. Just kidding. Trash can immediately. <laughs> Next pair of denim shorts from, I think these are from Airy. American Eagle, yeah. Loved these. I think I actually tried them on with you guys. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Can we make this work? Oh, gaining on it. Ugh. These fit me when I tried them on in my Airy haul, you guys. With you, you watched me. I remember them being, I think they might be a size six. I am certainly not a size six. These might have to go. Okay, well, of course they fit around the waist, but um, whoa, baby. The length is perfect. The distressing is perfect, but I am like busting out of the seams here. I wonder if it's gonna bust. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, okay, that's painful. Sadly, 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 these have to go. They're gonna be sold to somebody who can actually fit them. 
Oh God. I mean, really peeling these off. Oh my God. It's a sad day in the Morgan household because I really loved those. And now a quick word from our sponsors, Tidelocker. Tidelocker, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Tidelocker is an affordable luxury dupe website where they have lots and lots and lots of things. They've got bags, they've got clothes, they've got accessories, they've got belts, they've got shoes. Pretty much, if you think of it, they have it. Ty Locker was so gracious and sent me two items from their website, and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing with you guys right now. First up, a bag from Saint Laurent. There she is! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Okay, so first and foremost, I do not have a blue bag in my repertoire, so I'm so excited to add this to my collection. She is navy blue. She's got the gold hardware. She's got lots of space. We have one pocket here, we've got one pocket here, we have the zipper in the center, and then we've got the side pocket. She has the magnetic closure, Plenty of space to fit a book, to fit your wallet, to fit your phone, to fit your keys. She's so pretty. Next up, Gucci slides. Oh, look at these babies! These are the perfect fall Gucci slides. They are just absolutely stunning. They have a little bit of a platform. They reminded me of Birkenstocks, which is amazing, but they have the Gucci logo all over them with the gold detail right on top. <gasps> These run so stinking small, you guys. These are size 41, which I believe is like a 10 at least. Yeah, it's a 10. The shoes absolutely run small. You need to order at least two sizes larger. I'm just so obsessed with these for the fall. Cannot wait to wear them with like oversized baggy jeans and like a little cardigan or a sweatshirt or something of that nature. So, so good. I am 1000% obsessed with these. I will throw all of their information and their website along with their social channels in the description box below and the good people over at Tidelocker are giving all of my followers 10% off with the code Meredith so be sure to use that at checkout. Alright, next pair is this pair from H&M. It has a matching top. I already know how these fit. Oh my god. Oh god. I've been lifting really heavy the last, I don't know, nine months or so, and I'm pretty sure some things got a little bit bigger, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, okay, so now that they're on, I knew that they were gonna fit around the waist. They are a good length for me. Love the color. I'm not gonna bother to tie them up. They do annoy me when I walk, but this is one of the few pairs of shorts that I know still fits me, so we're gonna keep them. Next up is this floral pair that I got from Zara. These are a little bit on the longer side, so they're like more of a Bermuda short. So they're gonna be almost down to my knees a little bit, which I kind of like. I've styled these in really amazing ways before with like a black tee that had really structured shoulders. They're a little bit long for my liking. I mean, it is definitely a style. Uh, I definitely would like them to be a little bit shorter, but you know, this is a look, so we are gonna keep them. Next up is a pair of Abercrombie shorts that I already know fit me, I think, because I haven't worn them this summer, but yeah. They've got a little bit of a stretchy waistband around the back, which helps me get them up over my hips. Great length. They're a little bit on the dressier side, which I can really appreciate. Love the color, although I've never really been a baby blue person, but love them keeping them. Okay, what is this? This is a universal thread. So these are from Target. And if my memory serves me correctly, um, these are probably the closest thing that I have to the perfect fitting denim shorts because of the length. I mean, I wish that they were like that, just a tiny bit shorter. This length prevents my legs from chafing and that's what we are here for. There is some gapping around the waist, but they're not worth taking them in because I usually just wear like a oversized tee or sweatshirt with these because I just don't wear them very often. So I'm not gonna spend money to get them tailored if I'm really never going to wear them. We're gonna keep these. All right, 
some of these shorts I have forgotten that I had because they were hiding underneath my bed. These are from Zara. How fun are these shorts? I don't remember. Well, I haven't put them on in a really long time, so I have no idea if they are gonna fit or not. Oh God. Oh God. You guys might think that I'm crazy. But the struggle is real because usually if I can get them up over my hips, oh my God, my legs are so red from scraping. They usually fit around the waist. That's usually how it works. So, <sighs> almost there. Okay, see how perfectly they fit around my waist and around everything else. These are so cute. I almost forgot that I had these. Now I did forget that I had them. Little tassels, so cute. They are a little bit on the shorter side. So, you know, the walking situation, whoa, those might even just catch and just tear apart. Yeah, see? But because they are so cute, I'm gonna keep them. I haven't worn these in years, but because they're so cute and because they're so unique and because they fit my waist at least, we're gonna keep them. But mega babe on the thighs for sure. Oh, let me just not bust out of the zipper. Okay. <sighs> Next up is a pair that I got from, I have no idea where, Barry J. No idea what that is. Maybe some boutique or something, but I'm gonna tell you right now, these are an absolute no. I haven't put these on my body in years and they're just not my style anymore. Like I don't really like the scalloped hem. And, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is not even close to closing. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I was really tempted to just squat down because I knew that I was gonna bust right out of them, but I wanna make sure that somebody else can love these. So we're gonna sell these. All right. Next up is a pair of H&M Conscious shorts that I'm already going to tell you no, because I don't like the paper. Oh my God. There is no way. Like, when did I wear these last? Like, how is this even? Holy crap. That's as far as I can get. That's it, guys. Should I go get some more chocolate now? Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't gone through shorts in many years, so. Eight. All right, next up ooh, is a pair of faux leather shorts. I just wanna see if they're doing the same thing that the, yep, they are deteriorating on the inside of the leg. Now that might be because when I walk, they rub together. But let's just see, cause I haven't worn, I kind of forgot about these too. I haven't worn these in so long. Oh, I like them. Oh God. Oh my God, look at the floor. They're completely crumbling. Ew, oh God, oh my God. Oh. Holy crap, this is disgusting. Oh yeah, what was I even thinking? Like I looked at them, look at that. To the trash they go and to get the vacuum again. Well, that was just a complete disaster and utterly disgusting. Let's pretend it never happened. Oh, a pair of shorts that I, of course, have forgotten about yet again. Okay, I don't really love the paper bag style shorts, but it is a style that typically works on me the best because usually it's got an elastic or you can cinch it in around the waist. These are really, really nice. I like the sheen of them. I like the little cargo pockets right here. The length isn't too bad actually, but I just don't know if I love All right, we're not gonna waste any time. These are gonna go into the maybe pile and we are going to decide before the end of today's video. Okay, next up is a pair of denim shorts from H&M. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, H&M coming through with the stretchy long enough denim shorts. These are cute. I don't know if they are going to prevent the thigh chafe. See this right here? We're gonna need some mega babe for this. But that's okay because they're cute, they're high waisted, they're stretchy, super comfortable. And I think, oh yeah, no, you can't roll them down to make them any longer. Although I guess I could take out the seam on either side and maybe make them longer, but nobody's got time for that. So that's not gonna happen. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna keep these because they kind of fit. 
All right, next up is a pair of denim shorts from Zara that I thought might still have the tag on them because I have never worn these in my entire life. Okay, mayday, mayday, we have a problem. Should I even bother trying to scrape the skin of my... We're gonna just, you know, we're gonna just move on. There's no way that I'm going to keep shorts in my closet that are that difficult to get up. So, perfect shorts for somebody else. All right, another pair of what I believe to be vintage denim. I sometimes like to buy vintage denim because usually the shape of them can be good for me. But I don't remember which market I got these at and I don't remember if they fit or how they fit. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Where did that just rip? Oh, <laughs> well, we've ripped them. Maybe they'll be like more. Oh my God. Maybe they'll be more like vintage denim. Ugh. <sighs> is it because I'm sweaty or is it because they really just don't fit? Not even gonna try anymore. Be gone. Oh boy. What was I even thinking with these? Uh, this is an Arizona denim short, size 11. Why are they so short and why do I have something so short in my closet? See, this is why we're doing this, folks. We've got to make space for the new, for the new items. Oh my God. Oh, wait, they're kind of long and they have a longer inseam, but why are they like low rise on me? Absolutely, unequivocally, hard pass. Oh my God, my skin is gonna be so irritated after this. Okay, sweat break, time out, 30 second. Next up is a pair from Mustard Seed. I think I got these at a boutique. I don't remember which one, of course, because I really just don't ever buy shorts anymore. So it's been years since I've bought a pair. And I think, oh God, do not bust the zipper, please, for the love of God, do not bust. Please don't bust. Just roll up, roll up, roll up. Come on. We're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, got him up, got him up. See, and this is, oh brother, that zipper does not look happy. Oh no, come on. This is what we're looking at, folks. We have a zipper that needs to have some sewing done. I don't even think that it's possible to get it up. Oh, we're not gonna waste any time because I'm not gonna wear them. <sighs> they just need to go away. Well, we probably shouldn't sell these because the zipper doesn't work. Oh my God. Why did I decide to do this again? I have no idea. Oh, got this, Mary, got this. All right, let's see if the zipper will work without it being on these thick thighs of mine. No. All right, we are going to throw that pair into the trash can, lay trash can. That's number three in the trash. Last, oh, is this a skirt? Oh my gosh. Didn't even know I had this. That is a shame. Shameful, Meredith. This is Wild Fable. This is Target. Oh, woo! You guys know that denim skirts are like sort of in right now, especially the long ones, but you guys know, well, you probably don't know, but I'm gonna tell you, the long skirts are just not going to work for me because of the shape of my body. I would need like a bodycon style long denim skirt and I'm pretty sure I, uh, that would be hard to find. But you know, like the wide sort of baggy ones that have the slit, not for me. Now, when you talk about a stretchy mini skirt, denim. <laughs> we are ending on a banger. That is exciting. We are keeping this and we are going to be wearing her this fall. Didn't even know I had you. This is amazing. Ah! <laughs> Moving on to the athletic slash house shorts slash PJ bottoms. Let's start. Okay, these are a Target running short that I obviously would never run in. And of course, my drawer probably made that mark. So I wonder if I could potentially throw them into the wash and have the wash remove that stain. See, I wish I could wear shorts like this, you guys. They're cute. Not for running because my thighs would be crazy. But see, this is the problem. This is the problem with athletic shorts. This is the problem with short shorts. <sighs> why? So this is why I usually have them like in my house shorts because these just really can't be worn out because I think we're gonna have to sell them. 
them. And this is a hard decision because I really like the color of them. I like the theory of them, but they are not meant for me. Okay, we're not gonna waste any time. These are going to sell. Oh, this is exciting, I think. These are my practice shorts from college. So I played basketball in college and I'm not kidding you guys, I used to ask for a double XL. Yep, that's XXL, that's a 2X. Men's sizes usually. I'm not kidding you guys, my game shorts were probably like that on me. Now, you know, things have changed and now people are playing with shorts up here. I would never be able to play with shorts up here, but this is like the perfect basketball short. And they're sentimental because they are my practice shorts from college. So we're definitely keeping these for sure. And I actually think, did I get these taken in? Or was that my softball shorts? I don't remember. It was either these or, no, it was these. I did get them taken in. I got them taken in. And also because the elastic, this was like broken and you know, so we're going to keep those. Woo. All right, moving on to a pair of shorts that I know fit, I think. These are another pair of Nike shorts that I love. They're sweatpant material. They're long enough to be comfortable. I mean, they look like, you know, basketball shorts. They need to be steamed, but you guys get the gist. Super comfortable. I wear them around the house. And actually, maybe I will test myself to see if I can style these in a really cute way to wear them outside of the house. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, I sounded like Mrs. Doubtfire there. All right, another pair of basketball shorts, Nike through and through. When I saw them at Nordstrom, I had to have them because of the floral print. But I don't remember them fitting very well. Yeah, they don't really fit that well, to be honest with you guys. Um, I think they are, yeah, there was something wrong with them. Like, I think it was this. Do we keep them because they're fire and don't fit? Or do we take them? See, like, this is the problem, okay? This just needs to be taken in like this. I've had pants that have been too baggy in the crotch area, probably because this is a men's short, so they're probably not made for, I mean, they're not made for a body like mine. But if I just were to take them to the tailor and have her just take that little bit in, I think that these would be great. Um, they are not very comfortable because they are thicker. They've got pockets. I feel like they have multiple layers. Yeah, they've got like this front layer and then this back layer. I wonder if, real quick, I could maybe just cut out that inside layer. We have a project on our hands. Why would they put double layer for a basketball short? That makes no sense, y'all. I think that this is gonna be a project. I think that I'm going to cut out the black liner. Oh, this is brilliant. It's gonna be so much more comfortable. I don't know. I also don't wanna ruin them, so. <laughs> Keeping project. All right, next up is a pair from Zara. These are like little house and booty shorts because they are so short on me that I really couldn't wear them out. I mean, not comfortably, I could, but I don't want to. Yeah, these are like good house shorts. I have the matching little crop top. We will keep these for the house. Okay, next up is a, another pair of Nike basketball shorts. I mean, I literally just live in basketball shorts usually when I'm not dressed up. I remember these when I got them. I loved the color of them. I just feel like they're a little too tight for like a comfortable basketball short. But I guess like this is the shape and size of basketball shorts that people are playing in nowadays. Love them, keeping them. Okay, next up is a pair of shorts that are from Target. And these are just like house shorts. They're like another sweatpant material. They're long enough. Although now putting them on, I'm like, I don't know if I really want these because they're just not high-waisted enough, I don't think. Maybe, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring these to my parents' house and put them in my drawer there. Because why have them here if I'm not gonna wear them? Maybe I'll wear them there. <laughs> All right, next up is a pair of Adidas soccer shorts and obsessed with these, okay? Let's just talk about the waist real quick. Like the waist is massive on me, but there is a drawstring, which I usually tie up because then, usually when they're big around my waist, they're gonna be loose around my thighs. So it doesn't really bother me all that much, but I do remember like wearing these and I also have this neon pair too that I wear a ton. Like I love both of these, but I do remember them riding up because I do wear these to like run to the grocery store or something. Bit shorter, but these are definitely keepers. I just don't know if they ride up because there's too much fabric. I mean, I just can't win when it comes to shorts. So the fact that they're long enough, we're gonna keep them. 
and while we're at it, let's just try these on. These are like my fave of all time. I wear these all the time. They're um, a smaller size than those, so they do fit around the waist a little bit better. Perfect length, just comfy, comfy, comfy. Like love throwing these on and just like running to, you know, the coffee shop or around the corner. I usually don't wear them for anything else besides like little quick errands. Uh, okay, let's try on this pair of running shorts from Target as well. Some of these Target shorts were actually sent to me because um, I shot some content with them. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, I haven't put these on in quite a while. Whoa, love the length of the bike shorts underneath. I don't love the length of the shorts. I think these are meant to be running shorts. I do not run in shorts ever, 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 unless they are bike shorts. But let me just tell you why. Do, do, do. That's just the reality. So am I going to wear these? No, I'm not. So they need to be sold. Love them, but not for me. They're not made for me. They're not meant for me gonna have to say goodbye goodbye that's sad because i really would have liked to have those okay moving on i've got one last nope definitely not my last pair of basketball shorts got these at a store called local hoops local hoops they had a pop-up shop in soho one day i walked in and it was like my dream they had basketballs everywhere they even had a hot shot hoop and of course i tried to beat the record it was not successful, but I was close. Love the color of these, but love the length of them. Again, they're kind of thick. Why are people doing that? Do we need to cut those out too? Wait, hold on. This was a little bit of my concern when I bought them. Same issue, like why are people making so much fabric? I mean, I guess if you're a man, you need the extra space, but when you've got something flat here, you don't need it. Why are they so thick? Let's just see if I can perhaps cut the lining off of these two. Why? Why do you have a liner? It's like you're wearing two pairs of shorts at the same time. That's so stupid. This might be another project of mine too. Just as long as I don't F it up because I'd hate for that to happen. Maybe they do a liner because <laughs> it's see-through. Then you just wear like, you know, a brief or like, you know, something not revealing underneath. There are ways around it. Next up is pair of nude skin little tiny shorts don't remember putting these on last okay these gotta go i already don't like them okay why because of, whoa <laughs> yeah because of this they're not they're just not comfortable i don't think no we're not even gonna think twice about it if they're not comfortable they've gotta go oh i shot these for woodstock ivy which is a store in brooklyn i would never wear these in real life but i think that they are fire i would love to just wear like a pair of black sneakers and black like socks like you know ankle socks or whatever scrunch them down and like a tee but y'all your girl cannot walk out the house with her booty hanging out the bottom of them they're so short but i love them I'm not going to wear them. And the point of this video is to get rid of things that you're not gonna wear. Am I going to sell these? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. <sighs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Maybe pile, we're gonna decide by the end of the video. Next up is a pair of shorts that I got, I think from Pretty Little Things, or it was one of those shops. And when I was working with them, I thought it came with the matching long sleeve button down. So this is meant to be like a little summery set, but they never had the top. Why do they have that white spot right there? That is weird. Love these. I just wish it had the matching top. These are a great summer short great to throw on at the beach super lightweight Ooh, almost like really thin got pockets stretchy love them we're gonna see if we can locate the top to match so this is another project joy another pair from Target. saw these in store had to have them for obvious reasons again not something that i would wear often because of the length of them this is like a workout, this video. But love that they're metallic. The length actually isn't too, too bad. And uh, they're high-waisted and I love them. So we're gonna keep them. <sighs> this was supposed to go better than keeping everything. Gosh, well, no, I have a lot that I'm getting rid of still. Okay, this is a short from this company called Walk Pop. Adore Me carries them. They're a running short. You know what? I'm not even gonna try them on. Well, you see them because I 
no, but I'm not gonna keep them because I don't like them. <gasps> okay, you guys get the point. I'm not keeping them. They're gonna be sold. All right, officially last pair of basketball shorts and love the print. They are Nike, of course, perfect length. You guys see me crossing you up? <laughs> keeping these. All right, last two shorts and then we're done. Then we're done. Okay. Two pairs of soccer shorts. These don't seem to have any elastic around the waist anymore. Oh my God, I'm getting so hot. My I'm sweating now on my curls. Um, I can, however, bring them in with the waistband. I haven't worn these in so long. We are actually not going to sell these. I think I'm gonna give them to my mom. I think she will wear these for sure. My mom and I are kind of the same size. She's a little bit smaller than me, but she can wear a lot of the same clothes and she's also five foot nothing and i'm five seven and we can still wear the same stuff so those will definitely fit her i'm getting rid of these don't really love them haven't worn them in a while they are under armor that's it these are being sold so long oh wait does my mom want those no i think i think i'll sell them okay we've got two pairs of maybes that i'm gonna just throw on real quick i think I'm supposed to be getting rid of, rid of, get rid of it, get rid of it. I think these shorts are going to, I've got to sell them. I just have to, I just have to because I'm not going to wear them. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're not comfortable for me because they are so short. That's so frustrating. This is what frustrates me about shorts. Like I wish that I could just keep them because I'm obsessed with them. And you know what? While we're at it, we're just going to get rid of these two because I don't like the paper bag waist and um, there's nothing that I can do to fix that. I guess I could take out the paper bag waist. What if I just did? What if I took them to the tailor and just had her cut? What if I just cut it? <laughs> Another project. Shoot. But if I cut it and it looks bad, then I can't resell them. Am I really gonna wear these? No, I'm not. Nope. Getting rid of. Okay. Officially done with today's shorts try on haul. That was a lot. Okay, let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 keeps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 are going into the trash. It looks like I just went through a massive storm. I sweated out all of my curls. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of disappointment, but also not because like I know what to expect. I also wish that like the ratio of keeps to sells was like opposite because I have more keeps than sells, but like I'm glad I'm, I've almost gotten rid of 20 pairs of shorts. So at least we made some progress. And now I'm thinking like, should I just go through that pile of keeps and like get rid of half of it? something to ponder. You guys, I cannot with shorts. I just cannot. This is ridiculous. Anyways, thank you so much for coming along with me today to go through all of my shorts for episode number four of my closet cleanup series. We are going to move on to pants, I think. And we've got a lot of pants. And I think the reason why I have so many pants is because when I find a pair of pants that fit me, it's like a miracle, so I buy it no matter what. I just buy it. If it fits me, I buy it, which is crazy. But also a lot of them have been sent to me as well. So anyways, we're going to pop into one episode of pants. We're going to pop back into bikinis and swim because I think I still have two more episodes of swim left to do with you guys. And then we'll continue on with the rest of the closet. I finally feel like I'm in a good groove to get these going. We are going to knock out episode after episode of this closet clean out series so I can get my life together and have some sort of harmony in my closet of things that I love to wear because I can't even see what's in there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for coming along. As a reminder, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell to get notifications for every time I upload a new video. And if you guys feel so inclined, you guys can hit that super thanks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.